Well, guys, welcome back to Wildwood Zoo. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days today. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to have you guys over here while we work on the stag exhibit. So, yes, we finally have the beautiful, majestic red stag in Planet Zoo, and I'm just amazed by it. I have to give a huge shout out to Frontier for even like doing this. They don't need to do anniversary gifts. Last year, we got the black and white rough lemur that was still super insane to see and i see my dog still hasn't calmed down from the last episode that's great but this time this year we actually got the stag and it's so beautiful so i just can't believe this the fact that we have this animal in planet zoo they did such an incredible job on it it looks just like it does in real life obviously it's based off of the fallow deer rig but it has it up in like a nice upright position uh and it's just incredible and it just makes me super happy this is my first time actually seeing them in game but i'm getting a little too ahead of myself we should probably talk about what we're doing over here it was my original plan to have this beautiful nice open area in terms of like i don't know just a nice keeper talk we recently got the keeper talks in update 1.11 and it's something that i absolutely love the fact that these keepers can hold out these animals take them out of their exhibits and just show them off to guests while they sit down in the bleachers and stuff like that that's great i love to have that kind of stuff and that's exactly what i love to see in zoos just the fact that we have these nice um how do you say just very very cool things i don't know uh these ambassador animals that's probably the best way to put it just really super awesome just to have that in the game so you can see i'm working right on the coast of this big lake over here i really haven't touched base on that in like the speed builds as of late but it was my idea to have this nice big lake in the middle of the entire zoo that like you know every so often you can get like a nice glimpse out towards and yeah it would just be a nice natural area for waterfowl nice natural area for like native fish uh really really fun stuff really enjoyable just stuff i like to build for uh i usually like to build that lower building into my zoos and stuff like that so i don't know it's just very enjoyable and i also have a nice little picnic area right over there just in case if you know mom and dad need to stop for their kids or something like that i always love to do stuff like that it's just it just adds this nice extra layer of detail to your zoos that is always so worth it in the end it really helps it go the extra mile now what i'm doing over here is working with the fences that we already made before i believe i made these fences originally for the red fox habitat and we kind of upgrade them a bit so we kind of give them a little bit of a facelift and we make a much bigger version for our deer so, of course, the stag in this case, it's going to be just one that needs this nice big protection. You see, the stag is an animal that, like, it, you can't mess with it. You really can't mess with it. They're very strong animals. I was lucky enough to see them at Action Wildlife in Goshen, Connecticut. Um if you're around there you probably know about it and i'm not going to tell you to go there if you're not but it was super cool just to see these animals in america because they really aren't common in america they're more so often than not uh european species and it makes me super happy that we have european animals in the base game which is just great originally it was just like what it had to be just the greater flamingo right uh, and that's not even really European. I know that they have some like colonies and stuff like that up in like Amsterdam and stuff like that. Maybe Netherlands proper. Um, but it, it just doesn't make sense to me. So it makes me super happy that, you know, they at least have the stag to begin with. It's just good makes me super happy. So making our way throughout here and yes, add that one to the tally. I really want to have these nice covered fences leading up to this area because I really wouldn't want guests to kind of have access to these animals to spook them. I really want them only to view them from up above. And you can see we're working on that right over here with this nice kind of, I don't know, retaining wall, if that makes sense. It does have that kind of like climb proof barrier on top of there, which really is less so about you know the stags and more so about for the guests and to protect them so 
we're making our way throughout here. <laughs> and then again, you know, add that to the tally. Uh, I threw them in there because I really needed a good sense of scale as to how many I needed. So I actually had way too many in here, so I got rid of a few stags. Uh, just because it really was a lot. I didn't want that much in there. Um, but yeah, and then we copied the roof over here. Uh, and I'm not really sure what color we settled on over here. I think we settle for green. I think that's the color of this area. As you guys can probably tell, I have different colors in the different areas. Our carnivores really have this nice dark black kind of one. With a little bit of slate blue in there, which I really fall in love with. Um, easily one of my favorites. Then the aquatics, like our beavers and otters, they have a blue one. And our front entrance has red. Uh, so we're just going to have that continue up the side as we make our way to our cougars and our bats. The next episode's going to be for moose, by the way. Just keep that in mind. Really excited about that habitat. I'm only halfway done, but I hope you guys are super excited for that because it's the biggest one in the zoo and it's probably my most ambitious. So that's going to be super awesome to see. Now, of course, I am working with a lot of rock work over here. Very happy about how that turned out in this habitat. Not really the most realistic in a zoo. Um, usually when you have deer, you more so want like open fields, maybe rolling hills, but definitely not as much rock work. They're not really that stable animals. Look how skinny those legs are. So we're really working with that over here, and I kind of fix it up later down the line, but I did want to have at least some points of interest for your eyes, and that's kind of what I settle on when I'm all said and done, really. Uh, covering up the water area down here, I made sure to just have a little bit of water in here. It felt like it was kind of necessary, especially for an animal like the stag, where it will need to, you know, have a lot of water every so often. Uh, that's something I wanted to include right over there. Making our way throughout here as well with our trusty, true taiga and tundra rock combo. I really love the color combination between these two. Really gives you some nice color in between, like, the very slight greens of the um, tiger rock and the beautiful dark blues of the Tantra Rock. You can see just how well that comes out together. It's really working with highlights and shadows in a way that, I don't know, they just play together so nicely in the end. So, while we're all doing that stuff, uh, you guys are probably like, what are you going to do for foliage? Since, you know, the stag will eat pretty much anything on the ground. Well, I bring in what I call implied realism over here. Uh, while the, you know, these animals would consume uh, low-bearing bushes and stuff like that, I more so congregate them around the rockwork. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, so if they would eat, eat these plants uh we should have them where they can't really access so that's kind of where i come in clutch with the rocks i guess in retrospective because they really wouldn't want to walk around those so we do that and we have a lot of that over there um near the guest viewing and i also throw bracken everywhere just or lady ferns i think it's actually called just a really beautiful plant that i really want to use a lot more in this area over here uh it's just gonna help feed into the forest vibes i want throughout here because the start of the zoo up until now was Pretty much everything was nice and kind of settled and populated. It felt like, you know, it was a zoo with infrastructure. Now, when we're getting to the deer, uh, usually when you have animals like this, they need a lot of area and they need a lot of natural area. It's not really an animal where you could do like intense rock work or really intricate climbing frames or really in-depth indoor housing. Um, really, these animals just need to be... This is their native habitat over here. So we're honestly leaning into that a lot more and working a lot with what you would find in the native area over here. So I'm getting very much into these Himalayan pines. Um, not really a new england kind of uh pine tree but i use a lot of it throughout here because i don't know it just looks bright kind of reminds me of the white pines that are actually the main native tree or official state tree uh very happy with those by the way very excited to see how it all comes out and of course throwing down all these leaves everywhere i don't really have too many deciduous trees in this habitat but i felt like we kind of needed it throughout here just because we could just say that they blew into the habitat or something which they do um but yeah this area is more so about i don't know 
pine trees, I guess. Here's our keeper talk. You can see the one lady back there was the only person who showed up to it. I feel bad for these two keepers given their talk. But anyways, I'm glad you guys showed up to this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a little like if you can, or even consider subscribing. I'm so close to 11,000, guys. I'm one person off. Actually, I think if I check it right now, I probably hit it. So if I did hit it, thank you guys. You guys are the best. Oh my gosh. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick speed build of the stag. I hope you guys are enjoying the stag in Planet Zoo, and I hope you guys have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Take care, and bye bye